So today I went to the immigration centre and I heard a very sad story involving a pole. Not an immigrant, a, a pole like this. And as you can see, see where the, you see that markings, the, out, the uh, outerly edges there? Those were posters that have been taken down by the guy that goes around with a bucket of water and a scraper and he takes them down. But the, I was told, so I met someone that I knew at immigration and he told me this story of a gaijin that uh, he was going round of his own accord. He was getting offended by things on here because, uh, and he was scraping them off himself. He was taking the posters down himself, which is not allowed. And uh, so, so usually though these these posters they usually involve like some like uh, uh, Vi Viagra for sale or some uh, like cheeky girls or something like that or porno magazines or something like that and so he was offended by this so he would scrape off the the posters himself but he was caught doing it and the police charged him but the thing was he wouldn't and this is the th this is the thing here he wouldn't admit any any wrong and that's his problem not admitting wrong and so because he wouldn't admit me wrong, he wouldn't say, oh, I'm sorry, I did this. They, j they put him in uh, lockup for a few months. And so that's the, that's the moral of the story, is if you do something wrong and misdemeanor, admit your, admit your guilt, say you're sorry, write a letter, that's it, it's over. But this guy wouldn't. So he could have had like a bad experience with Viagra, one of these, he could have been, he could have lost some money with it, you know, like, he could have got pre prison. I don't know. I'm not going to do this video again for that noisy train. So, uh, so I don't know what his problem was, but like I say, if you don't want to spend two months, three months in uh, at his at his emperor's pleasure, just to uh, say you're sorry and get on with it. Anyway, so there you go. Bye bye.